In the macabre annals of true crime, few figures cast a longer, darker shadow than Jack the Ripper, an entity whose very name evokes visions of gaslit fog, shadowed alleyways, and gruesome violence. This phantom, shrouded in the cloak of history, has eluded capture for over a century, keeping his secrets shrouded in mystery and speculation. Through an exploration of the narrative tapestry that binds the Ripper case, we plunge into the gloom of Victorian Whitechapel, shedding light on the harrowing lives of his victims, the frantic investigation that ensued, and the elusive specter of Jack the Ripper himself. Autumn of 1888, Whitechapel, London. Imagine this pulsating heart of the Victorian metropolis, a district of desolate squalor, overpopulated with the impoverished and notorious for its teeming brothels and rampant crime. Into this den of vice and desperation, Jack the Ripper emerged, silent as the whispering wind, lethal as the viper's bite. This unidentified serial killer claimed at least five victims, all women of the night, their lives snuffed out in the chilling solitude of Whitechapel's darkest corners. Marianne Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, and Mary Jane Kelly. Names etched into the chilling legacy of Jack the Ripper, forever united in death. The nature of their demise was as gruesome as the annals of Victorian crime could offer. Each victim's throat slashed, bodies horrifically mutilated in a ghastly exhibition of overkill and evisceration of their very humanity. No psychopathic spree of this scale had been seen before, instilling a terror that pulsated through the heart of London. Fear's icy tendrils crept through every stratum of society. The name Jack the Ripper, taken from a letter sent to a news agency, seemingly by the killer himself, became the whispered nightmare of an entire city. While we turn the pages of this grim chronicle, it is vital to remember that these were not mere casualties in a murderer's sanguinary ballet, but women, with lives riddled with hardships and struggles, cut short in their desperate fight for survival in a world cruelly indifferent to their existence. The authorities of the time, ill-equipped for such a crisis, scrambled to assemble an investigation, their efforts encapsulated in the extensive, albeit incomplete, case files we have today. Detectives Edmund Reed, Frederick Aberline, and their contemporaries scoured the city, their minds haunted by the cryptic specter they sought, their souls burdened by the urgency of preventing another monstrous act. The criminal profile developed by Thomas Bond, the pioneering police surgeon, painted a picture of a killer as elusive as he was deranged. A man of solitary habits, experiencing periodical attacks of homicidal and erotic mania. But Jack eluded them all, his identity dissolving into the fog-laden streets of Whitechapel as swiftly as he had emerged. Suspects were aplenty, some pointing to the everyday laborers of Whitechapel, others casting suspicion upon the high echelons of society. Each theory, each suspect, from Aaron Kosminski to Walter Sickert, added a thread to the tangled web of Ripper lore, but none offered conclusive evidence. The Phantom of the East End had vanished, leaving in his wake a legacy of violence, terror, and a mystery that would continue to captivate the world for generations to come. Yet, Jack the Ripper's dark shadow didn't merely cast its pall over the lives of his victims and the dingy streets of Whitechapel. It permeated into the very fabric of society, refracting the prevalent anxieties of the time and fostering a macabre fascination with the grotesque. The Ripper murders underscored the vast chasm between the affluent and the indigent, threw into sharp relief the lot of women in Victorian society, and exposed the glaring inadequacies of law enforcement. Each victim, each blood-stained brick in Whitechapel, and each line of ink in the dailies screamed of a society under siege. As we probe deeper into the Ripper enigma, we are invariably drawn towards the psychological underpinnings of this savage spectacle. The heinous nature of the murders, the violation and mutilation of the victims' bodies, all point towards a profound derangement, an insatiable bloodlust shrouded in psychosexual perversion. Yet, as we descend further into the abyss of Jack the Ripper's psyche, we find ourselves ensnared in a labyrinth of supposition and conjecture. Did he derive a perverse pleasure from the mutilation? Was the choice of victims indicative of a deep-seated misogyny, or merely a predilection for the vulnerable and the accessible? Beyond the psychology of the perpetrator, we also witness the birth of a public fascination with the macabre, the Ripper murders being a grim spectacle that offered a twisted entertainment in the penny dreadfuls and evening papers. It laid the foundation for the modern-day obsession with true crime, 
creating an insatiable appetite for the lurid and the gruesome, a trend that continues unabated till this day. The Ripper's identity may forever be lost in the foggy labyrinth of time, but the narrative persists, casting a long, chilling shadow over the annals of crime. Numerous theories have attempted to penetrate the darkness, with DNA analysis and modern forensic techniques offering tantalizing glimpses into the killer's identity. But the Ripper remains elusive, a specter that lurks in the shadows, ever-present, yet forever out of reach. As we conclude this exploration, the figure of Jack the Ripper looms large, a grim reminder of our ceaseless endeavor to confront and comprehend the darkness within the human psyche. He is a stark symbol of societal fears, of the hidden monsters that lurk beneath the veneer of civilization. The narrative of Jack the Ripper is more than a tale of a serial killer. It's a macabre reflection of the society that gave birth to him, echoing through the ages as a testament to our deepest fears and fascinations. Jack the Ripper, a specter birthed in the shadowy recesses of Whitechapel, has transcended time and place, and has embedded himself into the darkest corners of our collective psyche. A chilling enigma that continues to captivate, horrify, and intrigue. When you subscribe, be sure to hit the notification bell. Click here for more true scary stories.